Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is the three refrigerant compressors that are typically found in residential light commercial air conditioning and refrigeration. So this one over here, this is called a rotary compressor, and this one is a scroll compressor, and this one right here is a reciprocating compressor. I'm going to show you how to quickly identify each different compressor from the outside. I'm also going to show you why each one is different. I'm going to show you a look on the inside of each of these compressors. So this one right here is a rotary. You see that you're looking at it from the top down and you see that it's round, okay? The discharge tube is on the top. That's how you can tell it's a rotary compressor as well. It has an accumulator on the side and it also has the electrical compartment on the top. You may or may not find the compressor protector. So basically this is just a thermal overload uh, and if it gets hot, it's gonna open the electrical circuit and not allow power uh, to the electrical windings. And the rotary compressor has an accumulator actually piped into it on the suction line coming into the compressor and it's like that from the factory. Rotary compressors can be found on stand-up air conditioning units, window air conditioners, and window heat pumps. RV units such as the ones that are on the top of the RV and also the undermount as well as mini split systems. So mini splits use these as well as the inverter style. So they're a pretty common compressor to run into. Now let's take a look inside. So here's where you have your discharge, and here we have our stator. Here's our rotor. We'll go ahead and take a look at the bottom of this. Here's our bottom where our oil's kept. And we're going to take a look at what the rotary compressor looks like right in here. So right here's our suction. I'm going to take this plate off. It had four screws right here. And basically you have your suction coming into a tiny little hole here. And you have your rotor actually spinning this. And it's pushing it this way. All right, And it's pushing this gas right into a discharge line right over here. So it's pushing it right into this little tiny uh, hole. So it's compressing it and pushing it right forward. And then it sucks the... Uh, suction gas in again and then it's uh, compressing it and pushing it this way. So that's your rotary. Scroll compressors are typically found in air conditioning. Uh, you may find these in some of the uh, R22 dry units that were installed or now all the R410A systems they typically use the scroll compressor and they're also using the scroll compressor for, for newer high pressure refrigerants as well. You can tell a scroll compressor just by looking down at it. You see that it's round when looking down at it from the top. You'll also notice that the discharge is on the side up on the top right here. And then you have your suction right here. You also see that the scroll compressor is tall. It won't have an accumulator actually mounted directly to the side of it like the rotary compressor does. Although it could have a, a suction accumulator mounted from the suction pipe over, say, over, over here on the side. The electrical compartment is right over here on the scroll compressors. And you see this bracket right here? That's actually for uh, attaching a C-clip or a chain onto it and then end up hoisting the uh, compressor in or out of the actual unit. So here you have your scroll compressor and this is your discharge tube. This is where the discharge goes into uh, and this is the internal pressure relief if it has to take the high pressure and dump it back into the low pressure area. This part right here is fixed and you see Here's your one part of your scroll, and then here's the other part. And basically, what happens is this oscillates, okay? And the two actually move like this in order to take your suction gas coming in the side, and then it exits out the top right here, compressing it. So it's kind of like a rotary, except it has more surface area uh, on it. That suction gas will go in this area and it'll get tighter and tighter of an area until it then ends up pushing out through the top. This is the sleeve that fits right over the rotor shaft right here. As you can see everything's all black in here. This is a burnout compressor. Vapor refrigerant is actually in the same area as the electrical windings.
and there you have your wheel then it shoots it through that hole up on the top and brings it up to the uh, scroll part of the compressor this here is the reciprocating compressor and you can tell it's reciprocating because when you look down at it it's an oval so you can always tell that that is a reciprocating compressor uh, right here on the side you see that this one has a stem valve mounted to the side when you see that, that's for refrigeration systems. You won't typically find that for air conditioning systems. It's typically just going to have a suction pipe coming out of the side. Um, on the larger uh, reciprocating compressors for air conditioning, you're going to see the uh, suction line up higher and the discharge down lower typically. And on this one, this discharge is a little lower than that suction. But the suction and the discharge will vary from compressor to compressor. This is the inside of two reciprocating compressors. This one was out of a four ton uh, heat pump unit. And this one right here is a small refrigerator compressor. So this one has a single piston in it. Uh, if you can make out this tiny little uh, piston right here, right in the middle, that's all that is. And this one has two right here. On this compressor, the suction gas comes in here and it surrounds the electrical windings and it ends up getting sucked right in here and then compressed by the piston and then here's the discharge and it comes out right through this discharge line. So there's your crankshaft. Uh, it kind of resembles like what the inside of the car looks like with the pistons and the shaft. But anyway, reciprocating compressors have a piston and we're not talking about a metering device, we're talking about a cylinder basically that keeps pumping in and out, in and out, in and out, um, compressing the gas. So you know I have a tool list of all the different tools I use for air conditioning and refrigeration down in the description and comment section below. And if you want to help support this HVACR training channel, check out patreon.com slash Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.